This documentary is about the Viking king Ragnar Lothbrok. Before starting this video, it is important to note that the Vikings did not record any historical events. Therefore, all descriptions and documentations of Vikings come from other tribes who interacted with the Vikings. This means there may be a little bias. Furthermore, some historians debate whether or not he actually existed. But since all historians agree that his sons did in fact exist, most historians have come to agree that he is real. Ragnar Lothbrok was born in Uppsala, Sweden, and lived during the Viking Age of 800 AD until 1050 AD. According to Viking tales, Ragnar Lothbrok became king in his land by challenging the current king to battle after he questioned the king's old ways of raiding. Vikings were on raids. Raids were surprise attacks on people and the purpose was to gain treasure, wealth, or something of value. The early Viking raids took place in England. The English had no idea who or where these Vikings had come from. As Vikings learned more and more about the English people and Christianity, they would plan their attacks accordingly. One famous tactic the Vikings used was to attack the English on Sunday while they were all in church. The Christian monks were defenseless and the Vikings returned home with great plunder. The English people feared the Vikings heavily. Viking attacks on churches were not direct attacks on Christianity itself, but an attack necessary for Viking survival, only targeted because of its virtually unprotected wealth and fertile land. Although Ragnar enjoyed fighting in battle and raiding, he was more concerned about getting land and establishing farming settlements so his people won't have to fight each other for land. This was what the original dispute with the old king was thought to be about, and his new way of thinking was revolutionary. Ragnar frequently went on raids to England, where they raided Mercia and Wessex. Ragnar also raided Paris. At the time, Paris was surrounded by wolves, and the Vikings had to overcome that challenge. Ragnar Lothbrok died during his raid on Northumbria. He was captured and imprisoned in a snake pit, where he died a slow death. Just before his death, Ragnar promised King Eilid of Northumbria that his sons would return and avenge his death. Ragnar's death led to the formation of the Great Heathen Army. This army was formed by various different Viking kings who looked to avenge the death of Ragnar, one of the most famous people in the world. This army was known to be enormous, and his sons led the army. They attacked Northumbria and then Wessex, and they eventually established a Viking base in York. Ragnar's youngest son was named Ivar, and nicknamed Ivar the Bonus. He was the most feared Viking of all time. Ivar led the Viking battle in York, where he established a strong base in, in it and his men managed to take control of the city. Ivar could not move his legs and he suffered from brittle bone disease. Despite his inability to walk, the English people described him as the most fearing Viking. He would be seen crawling on the battlefield and being carried into battle by his men. Ragnar's oldest son was Björn and he was the first Viking to raid the Mediterranean and North Africa. He also raided England and France with his father. He established trade routes and returned home with plenty of plunder. Many described him to be a great leader. One famous tactic Bjorn used, tactic Bjorn used to break into the Italian city of Luna was to fake his own death. Bjorn sent in his own messengers to tell the people of Luna that they do not come to attack, but that their king is very ill and he is about to die. His final wish before death was to become Christian and be buried in the church. During the funeral ceremony, 
Bjorn broke out of his tomb, attacked the people in the church, and then ran to the gates and let his men break into the city, where they took all the treasure and then burned down the city. Ragnar left behind a great legacy, and his death led to years of non-stop raids and attacks on English land. Ragnar was one of the most famous Vikings, and he lived at the start of the Great Viking Age. No one knows why the Great Viking Age ended or disappeared, so that is up to you to think about.